Claire, we helped out with the texting tutor. You remember this, Kristen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she wanted to text her twin sister's ex-boyfriend. You heard me right. Her twin, sister, twin sister's ex-boyfriend and make a move on him and see if he would want to go out. Um, she didn't mince words. She's not a huge fan of her twin sister. They do not get along. She does, uh, feels like her twin sister doesn't treat people kindly and definitely didn't treat this ex kindly and thought that she could do the relationship justice. So we reached out <laughs> and we, we, we took our best shot and we struck out because apparently he and the twin sister are back together again. Oops. Yep. So we had to tuck our tail between our legs and run away as fast as we could. We tried to end it on a light note by sending a funny gif, making fun of ourselves for even doing this. So now we got to find out um, if he even said something to the twin sister or if just hopefully everybody's just going to. Mm-hmm. Mind their business and, and and move about like like there's nothing to see here. Ooh, I doubt that. Uh, <laughs> well, the good news is this guy now f- knows he's got a backup plan if it doesn't work out with this girl. And he's got the twin sister in the back pocket. Um, our fear was that he wasn't going to be able to keep this a secret from uh, her twin sister. I was going to say something about it over the weekend, which would have been n- really nasty. Hey, Claire, welcome back. Oh, good morning. There you go. Hi. So I, I'm so sorry. I, I feel so humiliated right now. Um, I've just been so upset. What happened? Yeah. Well, my sister knows that I tried to ask her ex out and uh, for her no longer ex-boyfriend, as she put it. And basically, her first text to me was, nice try. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Followed by, why would you think that he would ever be interested in you? You're boring. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. To be fair, Claire, you 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 did try to go out with her ex boyfriend. Oh, I thought you were gonna say she is boring. No. <laughs> I was not gonna say. To be clearly. fair, she has a good point. But well, I'm she's saying, not like, boring. I mean, she clearly made a, a move yes. on her, her sister's ex. That that's is far not from boring. That's not boring. That's a fair point. I would say that's the antithesis of boring. Um, but like her responding to you, nice try. Like, of course, your your sister is going to feel a certain way and be snarky because you, you tried to make a move on her ex or what you thought was her ex. I just can't stand her. I know. I'm so sorry. Okay. You guys don't know. You just have no idea. Um, but I mean, I, I'm more humiliated. Humiliated. I'm not even hurt at this point. Um, you know, she thinks insulting me is going to like upset me. Um, but it doesn't, I don't know. She's like, Oh, you know, why would he ever want you? You're so boring. If anything, he would go out with you because it reminds him of me. (laughs) Um, you know, all that jazz. And I basically said, I hope you realize like how awful you are to him. And he's a fool for giving you a second chance. Um, and that's how I feel. That is genuinely how I feel. They're so bad for each other. And he's, he's an idiot for going back with her. So I'm going to break off into a sidebar conversation here. At one point or another, you and your sister probably got along. But there's like, it feels like there's real hatred here. What happened between the two of you guys? You know what? It started when we were much younger. She's always been competitive with me. Like, I happen to be more outgoing. She claims I'm boring, but that's totally not true. I've always been the one that's a little more popular, more outgoing. I've always done a little bit better in school, you know, that kind of thing. And so because I think people would praise me, she always felt like she had to prove herself and prove herself and prove herself. And so I'm just being me and she's trying to be me. And so I don't know. She just started like being mean to me instead of just supporting me, embracing me. And I've always told her like, Hey, I'll, I'll tutor you or Hey, come out with me and my friends. She isolated herself and she's become a total bitch. I don't know if I'm allowed to say bitch on the radio, but she's a bitch. And (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, (laughs) but like, you know, that's what's happened. So it's been something that has boiled up for years. And then once we got into high school, obviously it started getting worse. And then college, it was like, just the ultimate divide. And my parents know, everybody knows, like, we're two very different people. So whenever people are like, oh, my God, you have a twin, like, that doesn't mean we're besties. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, assu- you know, I- I'm assuming there's all sorts of tension when you guys are around the family mm-hmm. anyway. But now, with you making the move for the twin sister's ex and that not working out, I don't know how you guys can be in a room. All the family members can be in a room together anymore. 
I mean, I can with my head high. I can. I, I'm humiliated in the sense of like, I, I don't regret what I did. I'm humiliated because he went back and told her and probably painted this other picture of me. And like, yeah, it always sucks to be kind of denied. Well, that's where I'm humiliated, but I don't mind being in a room with her because it's not like it's oh, not like well, they're together or I knew and I was like going after him. Well, hold she, on a second, Claire. Hold she on. like basically cheated on him emotionally. Like she tore him up. So I was trying to not save the day, but like I knew he was heartbroken, but he she we- weaseled her way back in the way she always does. So. All right. Like I, I'm not trying to make this more spicy, but don't play the victim here. I mean, you're the one that reached out to him, right? So for you to say, oh, I can't believe that he told her, uh, you're the one that made that first move. So you're not the victim in this whole situation. But I am. You have no idea how she's treated me over the years. That you're I mean, correct. The, in this particular, yeah. that you are 100% validated. Um, if, you know, the, if... If your sister has treated you that way your entire life, for sure. But in this situation with her her boyfriend, you have to take ownership of your, yourself, you know, putting yourself out there and then him telling her, like, this was, it was a risk versus reward kind of situation. Now, as far as right. your sister, you know, treating you poorly, then, then yes, by all means, you're validated in your feelings. Especially with this whole competitiveness thing that you said that y'all have always had going on. You got to see how it's going to be taken as if you are simply trying to one up your sister as opposed to you were trying to do the right thing by him. Mm-hmm. All right, Claire, let us know how it plays out, Okay. Um, I will, but can I just leave you with one thing? Sure. Because this is how she left me. She didn't respond for a long time, and then she sent me a list of the last five guys she dated with their phone numbers and said, here's a list of my castaways. Maybe you'll have better luck. That's what I'm dealing with, guys. (laughs) That is kind of fun. That is petty. (laughs) The Burt Show.